you're Muslim? I work and I live with Muslims. You're I live Muslim. in Muslim country in Indonesia. Speak. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. La ilaha. La ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa Muhammad. Wa Muhammad. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. You Muslim. Insha Allah. Mashallah. <laughs> okay. Any place in the world, you will find people good, uh, people bad. Of course. Anywhere. But of here course. in Morocco, I am people only good is more than people bad. For yeah. sure. Yeah. For sure. I hear people, sure. anyone help you, anyone give you help. One, two, okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. It's this like a spider web. Spider, yeah, spider jet. Wow. That's cool. In order to get to the other side. You're very nice. Yeah. You have a beautiful smile. <laughs> wow! Mashallah, we have made it. We are outside. A little beer trip. Maybe a skin fade. With my friend just at the end of the road. Hello, hello. All right. We've got the usual hello, my friend, and excuse me, and everything else going on around me. But simply put, salam alaikum. Simply put, the plan is to walk to see my friend at the end of the road. A guy that I saw. On the way out, on my first evening last night, hey brother, to go and get a trim, and then go and head to check out the masjid. It's Thursday today, so it'll be super busy there on Friday, and there's every chance that the local shops, souks, and indeed my friendly barber at the end, might well be at prayer. So, what an intro that was. I did just try and shoot that one moment before and I ended up caught up in some nonsense about it comes purple from the sky and there is on the floor and there's flowers and everything else and then which country from all of that nonsense anyways here is my good friend maybe I just get a tea in the yes. meantime yes. would you like one? Yes. yes you would like tea? Yeah. yeah you want one cup? one tea? I will get one for you oh, and for you you want tea? for you sorry come no I, I will get one you want okay Come on, come on, get skin fade and a shave, it's good. <laughs> okay, let's see whether we can grab a tea for the guys. I'm coming in, I'm getting a tea. It's okay, brother, you get cutting hair, then I can get the chair. Oh, well, okay. Amazing, well. This is hospitality, here we go. And for my friends, three, I go for you. Shukran, brother. Perfect, I will wait. Okay. Shukran, my friend. Shukran. I've got to say, guys, what a start. What a start. From the moment on the corner there, just smelling the herbs as a little opener, which the guys were cool with before, and then a minute later, somebody else intervenes got dressing down to then yeah walking straight into the barbers and ah it's all going on what a place what a place we have our two teas for the barbers i'll come back from mine in a minute let's make our way through here there we go i gotta say i do not have seen it made i'll be querying the color of that water but anyway oh. my brothers oh, brother. two teas Come in my top. You give me a hand? Yeah, thank you. For you? Welcome. <laughs> and my brother? Thank you. For no, you. For you. Can you say, I'm going to get mine? Oh, no, we we will all have one. Thank you. Thank okay. you, brother. Let's have a sip of this mint tea. Was it good? It was a good one? Uh, this Moroccan whiskey. Oh, <laughs> Moroccan whiskey. <laughs> really? There we go. Wow. It's been a while since I've done this. There we go, we clean up the bits where I can't grow anything. <laughs> yes. Latras. Nice. It's so much easier than trying to do it myself on travels. Yes. Nice. This is like Formula One pit stop. <laughs> yeah. Very Weekly. quick. Very quick. Skillful. Nice. Yeah. So how long have you had this shop? How many years here? Uh, 20. 20, 20 years? years yeah. Wow. Uh, before travel and Dubai. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. So things are more touristy now. Yes. It's a lot busier for more tourists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 
The uh, area feels oh, traditional. From, from England. But, yes, brother. You England. like football? I love football. Wow, Premier League is the best one. <laughs> it is, and my team. Yeah. Lost. Leeds. They lost the playoff, and they didn't go in the Premier League. Ah, uh, Liverpool. Uh, yeah, Liverpool will do. Liverpool. Uh, yeah, brother. Uh, Liverpool. You have a team? Me. I me. I like this year. Uh -huh. Arsenal. As long as it's not Manchester, then it's good. No, 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 sister, me, I don't like no, Tin Hag. No, me neither. I don't like uh -uh. Tin Hag. Uh -uh. Alex, very yes. I love Sir Alex. Him. Yeah, but Tin Hag, no. Who is the most famous Moroccan footballer? I'm thinking. Is the Ragragi. Yeah. Hmm. Every week I see you watch it? Much, yeah. Oh, wow. Because it's, it's same final. Any match, same final at Premier League. That's why your haircuts yeah. are so good. Because yeah. you see all of the good players' haircuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's so of stylish course, here. Of course, we say Bissaha, 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 Raha. Bissaha, Raha. Bissaha, Raha. Very good. Like nearly, nearly. What this means? Means with Bissahar. good health in and good relax. If you do anything good, yeah. we say Bissaha, Raha. Not not this raha. Bissaha raha. Bissaha raha. Okay. Nearly, 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 yeah, nearly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. We'll have oh. to get some more practice in. Welcome any time. Thank I'm you, brother. Rakesh. Thank you. That's my chakra. Some people are worried. Like some tourists think it's like a Just bad place and it's not right. It's yeah. good, but brother, you're taking your stick. Yeah, no, I Is that the beating tourists? I catch because they want to go there for smoking. Ah, <laughs> okay. Any place in the world, you will find people good, uh, people bad. Of course. Anywhere. But of here course. in Morocco, I am people only good is more than people bad. For yeah. sure. For yeah, sure. I hear people, sure. anyone help you, anyone give you help. And for some sure. people, they ask you for money. This is, is not good. Yeah, that. that's the monkey yeah, business. Yeah. Yeah. Monkey yeah. business. Monkey <laughs> business. Uh, monkey right. business. No monkey business. <laughs> <laughs> no, normal. Relax. No, relax. Ah, uh, okay. All his life stay in the, this working. And li life, life, is life is good here. Hmm? Life is good here. Life, life is, is good. Yeah, life is good. Yeah. If you have heart healthy. Yeah. If you have healthy and you smile. You you found uh, something for it. This life is best. Always. Oh, we need health and kindness. Oh, yeah, yeah. The health thing and important thing. Yeah. Because with the health thing you can do money, you can do anything. Yeah. Without health thing, it's true. And no. that, guys, I think you've heard before, is the reason why I began this channel and began traveling. That is so good. That is so good. <laughs> 10 minutes, yeah, brother. I look like we were just talking about football and it's done. That's taken a couple of years off. I'm really happy. Oh, and that looks better as well. Get squared off, a little bit faded. Oh, I'm happy, my friend. It's good. That's After good. Is this? Aha, uh -huh. okay. Trust. There we go. Just trust. Of course, brother. Of course. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I think my last. Street shave may have been either Calcutta or somewhere else. This is when it's good that you're not a Manchester fan. <laughs> nice and clean, it's nice. Alright, we had a little overheating GoPro incident there. It got too hot, I'm actually sat on the battery now, my back pocket's absolutely roasting, but. The guys are just offering. Oh. The finishing touches. Oh, oh, that was nice. Oh, yeah. I like that. This is only a Moroccan. Yeah. It's a special Moroccan blow dry, like the Brazilian blow dry. Oh, ready, ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. One, two. Okay. Oh, what is this? Oh, wow. It's like a spider's web. Spider, yeah. Spider jet. Wow. That's cool. I've never seen this. Yeah. Check that out. Oh, is it? oh, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> I look like I'm mummified. I look, I look, I look. Wow. Crazy man. Yeah, crazy man. From the north, like me, north of England. But this from, from Ukraine. Yeah. 
You're saying champion. Yeah. champion. yeah, true champion. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, it really is something. Yeah. Wow. Maybe it keeps it cool this way, I don't know. It's the first time I've seen this done. Wow. I will go with it. It's been down there, brother. Down there. Yeah. It's good? It's good. Thank you. How much do I owe you? Five euros. Five euros, very fair. Would you, you prefer same, euros or as uh, you like? As you like, Jira. Same, same Moroccan people. Yes, of course, of course. Is the uh, price democratic? Because That's you are kind. gentle, pe gentleman. No problem, bro. Thank you uh, very much. Shukran. Okay, let me grab oh, fifty yeah. or a little bit more. Let me see. Okay, no problem. Oh, I have some more. I have some more. I think. Uh, I no think. problem. Well, check it. Ah. Hey, well, my okay, my friend. Right. My good brother. There we go. All people in England friend. come to Marrakesh. Hey, one, one. Uh, we have a lot of sun. <laughs> we have lots yeah. of sun. Yeah. <sighs> I must have tea. I don't want tea. <laughs> I want to go for a walk. I've been stuck in editing all day. We're coming out for a haircut. I've only made it ten yards down the road, but. Yeah, it's the hospitality. The restaurant owner here wants to give me tea. So, oh, and the second time he passes it. Oh, we're passing three times. Oh. This is just what you need when you want to get going. Okay. Amazing. Wow, three times a charm. And, yeah. Okay. Shukran, we have beautiful pages. Thank you, my friend. And this is the name of the chef and the restaurant, Lamrani. Okay, so it was just telling me that after many, many years at the top hotel, like the top luxury hotel here where he was pastry chef and then also ran later on both the restaurant and the hotel side of the cuisine of the catering, how he set up here this wonderful place. For night, you want to uh, eat? Come. Okay. 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 Good idea. Bye, bye. All right. Whoa. Bye. Okay. See you later. Today. Thank you, brother. Okay. All right, guys. Back on the road, having been given a tour of the local rooftop restaurant. The last thing I really wanted to do was sit around drinking more tea that I didn't want, waiting for it to boil, waiting for it to cool. But when in Rome, you've got to honour the hospitality. So I've got places to go. My sister, see. Hi. Hello. All right. So. You may recognize this from my first impressions video the other night. So we're heading back in the direction across the square, the main square, and then towards Kutibia, the big Mashid. It has a certain reputation. It can go either way. As we've seen in the opening, people will be getting in your business and taking offense, and those are the same people who are probably running up to you trying to take your arm and sell you something, and you get pissed off and moody, when you're not even rejecting them, but when you just don't accept their advances and you're polite. And then, like I say, trying to keep a low profile, passing one of the ladies back there. So yeah, you can see all of the sellers now, they're beginning to set up. And that noise that you can hear to my left is one of the famous charmers. And I haven't pointed the camera in the direction, just note that. We're continuing in the direction of, I believe, the masjid that I'm looking for, Kutubar now. Just to the right of the shot, you can see a guy there with a monkey. And once more, I don't want to get him in the shot. He's just springing to action with the two toys in front of me, but I think he's seen me coming with the camera. Would you exchange money in such an obvious place? <laughs> My goodness. If there was somewhere where you're guaranteed to get the worst possible rate, it would be the currency exchange here in the square. Jeez Louise. Scam city. My goodness, and how about a horse ride? After my experiences in Manila, and indeed, where we finished up in Yogyakarta. Can you imagine what they would do to me here? <laughs> you think I'd get a good price? Ah, oh, they've left the Jules Ramey. Of course that was the old one, but they left the World Cup line around. Where's Lionel Messi? He needed, maybe he's retired. Donated it to the streets of Marrakesh. Interesting smells as well around here. That's... Mashallah, we have made it. We are outside Kutubia, which is a really important 
mosque to this day with daily prayer going on. Now, if we can just cross the road, let's see how law abiding in terms of zebra crossings the bikers are. Ah, not at all. Okay. It's my first, uh, my first crossing in the country. This place was built in the 12th century. So it's nearly 1,000 years old. There are a couple of ladies just over my left shoulder. I'm not going to get them in the shop. But it's waiting to cross the road. I'm admiring the structure here. It's very different. It looks like a tower. Very different to the masjids I'm used to seeing, which are typically the domes like we've seen in Istanbul, Istaklal, in Jakarta, and of course all over the world. So, when we can get across the road, we go and take a closer look, and I hear that as is an actual masjid, an active place of worship, it's not ticketed. I'm not going to start charging an entry, which is refreshing. So we should be able to go in and check it out. And I don't know. Sisters, do you need me to stop the traffic? Shall I stop it? Okay. Let's stop the traffic. The hand of the Christians. Oh, thank you, ladies, come on. This is how we do it. This is how we do it. It's a man's world. It's our role to protect the women and bring our harem across the road safely so that we can come to Masjid. Over here, it is 39 degrees. But in here, in the shade, <laughs> it's so much cooler. Let's go and take a look at this counter over here because I seem to think whilst I don't have any real French, this is the energy consumption. I didn't expect to see this here. I thought it was perhaps a visitor counter, but we can see it's clearly a very green masjid. Interesting. I think it's really important when you come to different countries to not only taste the food, try the barbers, but also come and experience the masjid. I'm from England, brother. We. Oui. We. Oui? England. Yes, yes. You Muslim? I work and I live with Muslims. You're I live Muslim. in Muslim country in Indonesia. Speak. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Arna. La ilaha. La ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa Muhammad. Wa Muhammad. Rasulullah. Rasulullah. You Muslim. Insha Allah. Mashallah. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Peace be upon you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. Let's take a walk around here now. Now that I've been officially converted by the friendly guys. Now that I've been officially converted by the friendly guys. Let's go and take a look in the masjid. What a beautiful gardens ahead of us. So beautiful. The palms. My goodness. All right. I've just been taking a couple of minutes out in the shade. It's much needed given how hot it is. It's gone 5 p.m. as well. It's not exactly even the middle of the day, but they've just had the call to prayer. So I think things might be drifting in the direction of the mosque now. It's beginning to quieten down a little bit more in the park, but I see a guy over here selling drinks and that certainly won't go amiss. But I don't need one. I don't need one, brother. It's okay. And you too. Maybe, hey, maybe for Marrakesh. 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 Okay. You want me to show? Okay. There you go. Marrakesh. Anyways. Here we are. We've got a different aspect here. These were... Well, they're not ruins, are they? Are they some kind of tombs? They must signify something. I don't know what it resembles. Do any of you guys know watching? If you're Muslim, and particularly if you are from Marrakesh, if you're from Morocco, do you understand the significance of these blocks here? Are they tombs? What do they signify? Well, it looks like it's closed. I don't know. Brother, is this the entrance? No, this is mosque. Yeah, where is the entrance? It's closed. Uh, yeah, this is for the Zilomok and Montreal. Ah. For tourists. Okay. This is the Okay, okay. Understand. All right, how does he know that I'm not a Muslim? Anyways, let's not get all woke. But I'm not gonna give up just yet. We're gonna see if I walk around this way, whether I might have missed another entrance just as we are coming in. Let me see if these either French or American, typically girls happen to know. Girls, excuse me, have you been inside? No, no it's closed it's for prayer. Ah, I thought it was, given the closed doors, but I thought, yeah. have I just gone on the wrong side? Oh, sorry. Right. Where are you guys from? Uh, London. It is indeed, as my fellow country women have just confirmed, closed for prayer. Yeah. I'm going to walk back in the direction of the Riyadh, back in the baking sun. Thankfully it is just beginning to cool slightly. 
and I'm going to do some further trip planning. I'm going to work out the route to continue our journey further onwards through Morocco from Marrakesh in the coming days. When I first checked Google to see if there was a route on the trains or to check out the public transport options before I arrived, there were no results. So I half wondered if I was coming somewhere where I'd have to fly between towns and that's not fun is it? But anyway, thankfully I have it on good authority that if I just go to the station I should be able to pick up a ticket with relative ease. There's trains running every hour so as there would be back home or in any other country. So, with the exception of India where trains don't work or at least you can never buy a ticket. I will see you all from 12th century Kutubia, which is the most unique mosque I have seen in terms of its structure, even if we didn't get to go inside, in the next video.